Hi, good morning. My name is Tasha. I'm a Shopify dev and another dev. And this tutorial is basically how to use Shopify website builder to create a website. If you're thinking about going into e-commerce, I want you to pay attention to this tutorial because it's going to go through the steps of how to use a Shopify website builder. First, you're going to go to this URL I have here called Shopify builder. Now this, you'll basically enter your email address. Start a free trial. Ooh, I had the wrong one. Let me go back. Now you're going to create a Shopify account. What I'm going to do is you have the options to what I would like to sell, an online store, in person at events. You can do this for markets, fairs, pop-up shops, social media account with TikTok, Instagram, online marketplaces, an existing website or blog, or in person or a retail store. What I'm going to start with um, here is, let's see, an online store. And you can go through these prompts and this first prompt is telling you what best describes you. I'm not selling anything yet or I have products and I'm ready to sell online or in person. So right now I'm not selling anything yet. Okay, so what do you plan to sell? We're gonna go through the steps here. I have products that I buy or make myself or I have digital products, which I'm going to sell music, digital art, NTFs, anything like that, that's a digital download. Or you know about drop shipping. You have drop shipping products. You have a vendor that you get your products from or a manufacturer that you're doing everything with. You can also use something like Printful or print on demand products. You're selling t-shirts, mugs, something shipped by a third party. Or you can decide this later. You might have coaching services. You don't have to have an actual product. You can have services which are co coaching, housekeeping, consulting, whatever you want to do to set up your business. So right now I'm going to set up product ship by me and so we're going to try this basic plan you would click this basic plan or we can skip and decide this later and you can see the options basic is you can join shopify for a dollar and i'm going to break down these rates so whenever you use shopify for a dollar there's like a 30-day trial right now it's saying three for three days and then a dollar a month for three months and then they're going to start charging you maybe 39 dollars a month right so it gives you time to get your store set up your ideas in place to start getting everything that you want on your website or e-commerce store with Shopify to start selling immediately. This is for small teams, $1 to $105 a month. This has five additional staff accounts. On here is more advanced if you're a business and you're just looking at Shopify and you wanna already create or um, put your Shopify store a larger scale store into practice and switch from an existing e-commerce platform to Shopify. And this is the options that you'd use for Shopify plus. So when you try basic, we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna decide this later. And now I'm gonna explain, you can set up your store and everything's all set up. So this is the Shopify administration portal. This is not your website. This is where you do all the orders, your products, your customers, your content, your finance, your analytics, your marketing, your discounts, and your online store is here. And then you can add apps. And then you have settings which are tied to your account. So they have prompts in here where you can start getting ready to sell. You can add your first product. And this is an example I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how to add your first product in Shopify. Now, if I click add, I have the title right here. And then you can go through these prompts with Shopify. It's really intuitive. It's really sweet to use Shopify. So I'm gonna say test purse. And I can add my description. This is a beautiful, wonderful, purse excuse my handwriting my spelling and then you want to add key points key points like selling points um, it's small easy to carry uh, whatever you want to do with your purse whatever you want to call it and then you can add an image upload image there you go do 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 I'm gonna to pretend to sell a coach purse. And then you'd add your image files right here. And then you can add this category that already pre-populates for handbags. 
and then we add the price here, $120, and we're gonna add a compare price. This is our discount, $150. Do we charge tax on this? Yeah, you can. Cost per item, this would be the company's information. So say I get this at wholesale for $80. And then here's my profit margins to keep track of inventory profit and margins. We'll probably do it for 55, 54% profit margin. And then you can track the quantity. How many items do you have in there? And then you can have a store location. If you have multiple locations of different vendors, you can do that. You can also continue selling when it's out of stock, but basically you don't want to sell. You want to make sure the, the product doesn't display whenever it's out of stock. So you don't run into back order issues. Does this product have a barcode and SKU? Yes, it does. So you can make one up. But usually you have to purchase SKUs. You have to go through this whole thing to get an ISBN, UPC, GTN. If you're already using a product that's already out there from a drop shipper or third party uh, company, they might already have a barcode and SKU to tie to the product that's already created and selling. Then you would add a weight to your product. And then you have variants where you can add color. So we have a black purse and maybe a brown purse and this is where you can add your sizes and if you have a t-shirt you could do large medium small large medium small you can do uh, sizes from 0 to 14 this is really fluid with all the variants Shopify does have a product variant limit once you get more involved in Shopify, there are limitations to the product variant limit. You can only have a max of about 100 variants. Shopify is going to be releasing something in the future where you can have up to 250 variants, but it's not released yet. And the next couple of months, Shopify should have something that would help with the Shopify variant limit. But you can have as limited, a limited products as you want. You can have as many products as you want in here. So you really need to think about if you have a lot of different variants, which are colors, sizes, um, colors can create a lot of different variants. Sizes can create a ton of different variants. You want to consolidate that product data in a great way where you don't go over the product variant limit when Shopify. And then you can see this is your store. This is the amount that is set to active. And then you can see the publishing channel. And you have to select the publishing channel for it to show up. These have to be selected to show. The online store is your public facing site where your customers go to buy. Your shop is your shop. Your point of sale is basically you're, you go into the shop and you have a point of sale and they do a transaction in store or you might be at a pop-up market. You can connect Shopify to a POS system to take uh, credit card information for purchases of your products. So your store is just not online. It's wherever you go if you have that POS system. And then you enter a product type. We're gonna call this purse, vendor. We're gonna say coach maybe, or this could be your own thing. And then collections, we can add it to the homepage collections to show up that has not been created yet. But we were gonna put purse because there would be a purse collection. And now it says create collection. So you can go to the next step and create a collection or we can stop here. And then we're gonna add purse as a tag. The tag is very important. You can use tags to tag your products and to identify I want this correlation in my tags and my filters. Tagging is a very important feature that we use in Shopify for filtering, for linking products, for grouping products and collections. It's really important. And then we have a theme template, which is our default product template. So I'm gonna remove this right now because I'm not gonna add it to a collection. That's gonna be another tutorial about collections. And now we've created our first dummy product. Now, if we go into I'm gonna elaborate on this a little bit more. Just keep it like this. I'm gonna to go to the online online theme. And if I go to online store, I have another tutorial I'm gonna go about to talk about Shopify themes. Now I'm gonna give you a little goody cookie in this one. This tutorial is gonna express how I love Dawn theme. The Dawn theme is a free theme that you can use in Shopify on the Shopify app store, theme store. You can select a wide variety of themes. You can purchase a theme, but you wanna look for great conversion rates. You wanna look for SEO optimization. You wanna look for page speed. So some of these themes on here aren't properly built. Some of them are built. So if I click this theme, I'm gonna currently use Dawn and I can click preview. This is a showcase of my e-commerce site. 
and I can see my product is set in here and it's set to sold out because the inventory is zero. And then I have my colors in here and I have my product. And that's how you add one product to your Shopify theme. Now, if we go back to products and I click edit, I'm going to change available to 10 items. Save those changes. I'm just changing the inventory. So now if I want to add to cart, I can add this product to cart and there you go. I can go to the cart page and I can check out, but checkout is available because my store is not ready to go launch live yet. It's not ready to launch. There's a lot of work that has to be done, but this is just how simple it is using Shopify to add a product, set it up. And I just went over the brief description of how to add one product to your Shopify theme to get you ready in the process on how to go through and use Shopify as your e-commerce platform. Stay tuned for more tutorials. If you're interested in going through those steps, you can go to Tiny URL, Shopify Builder. That's the URL I went to to start this whole process. If you want to join Shopify, you can go to Shopify 30 Day. And this URL will take you to bring your ideas to life for a dollar a month. Free trial. I hope you enjoy Shopify. Stay tuned for some more information because I'm going to go deep into Shopify. I love it and I hope you love it and stay tuned to my tutorials. I will teach you more. I have a monthly subscription for $14.99 that will go more in depth on how to customize your Shopify store. Hacks that I know, solutions that I've solved using different Shopify apps that will help you bring your business to life and make money. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.